Hello people. I'm going to be showing how to do the two best money glitches in GTA 5, okay? So let's get into it. Press pause, go over to online, then down to swap character. After that, create a new second character and then copy the level from your main character to your new character. Once you've done that, just save and continue. Now, once you've loaded into a session with your Hello? new character, open up your phone, then go to the internet and look for any car you would like to buy. But you should practice the glitch with a less expensive car, just in case it doesn't work because I don't want you guys to lose all your money. Okay, for this part, you're going to need an ethernet cord. But once you get to this screen, just buy the car and then quickly pull out your ethernet cord. Here is a hand cam showing y'all when to pull out the ethernet cord. Press OK. Once you load into story mode, just start up an invite-only session. When this alert pops up, always press no. Now, when you load into the invite-only session, you should have all your money and the car you bought. something huh one of your rides let me know it's on the way now you can sell the car at los santos customs After you sell the car, put your money in the bank. Now, force save the game by changing an accessory. After that, go to swap characters again. You scaly fucker! I can and will defend myself! Now delete the second character. Now you can keep doing the glitch from here, but make sure not to go over your daily cell limit. Now, on to the next glitch. For this glitch, 
All you are going to need are some chips to bet with. You don't need a lot of chips for this glitch to work. You can do it with any amount, but the more, the better. So go ahead and grab some chips. The maximum amount you can exchange is 25,000, but if you have a penthouse, you can exchange 50,000, and if you don't have a penthouse, you can only bet up to 10,000, so I recommend doing the glitch with the penthouse because you can bet up to 50,000. Ah, madam, what can I do for you? Of course. Now, once you have some chips to bet with, you can now go over to any gambling game you want, it doesn't matter. But I recommend using the one in your penthouse. If you don't have a penthouse, you can use the ones in the casino. Now all you are going to want to do is max bet all the time. But play smart because you don't want to lose, so learn how to play. It's actually pretty easy. So basically keep playing until you lose. All bets are closed. But after you lose, quit the game immediately and then start it back up again. That's 11. Do you want another card? A 12. I see 16. And the house is bust. Enjoy your winnings and thank you for playing. Also, after you win, make sure you force save the game by changing an accessory. I won 250,000 chips in about one card? minute. So this glitch is pretty good and fast. Eight. After you lose, immediately quit the game and start it back up. Sorry for the video cut. I swear this glitch 100% works. As you can see, I still have all my chips. That's it for these glitches. I hope it helped you out. And if it did, leave a comment saying so because it lets people know that this glitch works. Thank you. Love y'all.